had some plays, and then we had a couple of penalties and self-inflicted wounds. We got some when we did get things going. Couldn't get Connor situated in the game. Couldn't get him set. We got every pressure. He had he missed a couple early. He had he had, but he played. Come back and made some really good throws. We had some good scrambles. Had a chance to get it. We knew it was going to be as the game went on. You could feel it was going to be a low-scoring game. But uh, thought he played hard. Did some good things. Offensive line. Uh, they they got us in some pass rush situations. Uh, and then the run game, we couldn't get it going. Hit a couple late. Uh, Amari and uh, Le'Veon did, but uh, couldn't get that going. Um, the opportunities, a couple drives. We had the first half in the middle of the second quarter. We got down there and got stalled and didn't do it defensively. Uh, physical, they ran the football and they had a lot of yards, but we still did a great job of getting stops at critical times, created turnovers. I thought a couple more turnovers. I mean, I was looking to see, but they, they were physical in what they did. Uh, and just got to find a way to get our offense. We could not get in rhythm. Whether we dropped a ball, whether we got a sack, whether we had a penalty, whether we had a negative run, just could not get above the sticks and keep going. We did two or three drives and then the last couple drives right there, but uh, didn't do it. And I got some mess on me. I got to find a way to do that and get us back and find ways, even when we're not running, to find ways to run it or take pressure off in, in the pass game and, and to help and chip. We're chip, trying to chip the ends and do things, and they got that. But uh, they, they played a physical game. We were able to make one more play than we did and, and where we went. And we didn't play as well offense with defense. But like I said, we need to be a little more – play the run better, but we still bent and, and made critical plays at critical times and kept the points down. He really kept us in the game for what we had to do. And uh, a couple penalties we had were – had a couple uh, knucklehead penalties that we just uh, could have, uh, I think we could have really helped us and got down there. But, you know, we got to do a better job and get the next game. Questions? Jimbo, was it Luis Muhammad suspended? No, he was just an internal issue, but no. Was it disciplinary? Just, we didn't, he just didn't play. How just we'll handle, we'll handle it in, we'll handle it internally. How, how hard is it then for the offense to churn when you don't have a, one of the top two guys out there? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. But we have other guys can make plays, and guys made plays. We had opportunities to make. We had first drive, we had an opportunity. We had a big one. We had a protection issue. We had to, we had the guy down the field. If we could have had some time, we had the very first drive of the game. We had three coming open for a touchdown, and just got we busted the protection inside and had it had it going, you know, and uh, didn't uh, couldn't get it down there, you know what I mean? But we had some opportunities. My other guys can play, and as you saw, Mari had some nice runs. Le'Veon had some nice runs tonight. Those guys are going to be really good players. There's been some internal issues all throughout the season, into the. Uh, why did this keep happening even after the? I don't know. Just, we'll move on from that. We just this one issue tonight. And we'll move on. We did. We tried to go tempo, we didn't we, but we couldn't. We didn't get any first downs. You know what I mean? And we we're trying to get tempo. We we don't tempo, up tempo probably seventy percent of the game tonight. Seventy eighty percent maybe. Then we tried to get a couple. Then we said okay, let's just try to make getting the right play and, and do the right things with some checks on the run. But went back. But we were up tempo a bunch. We were up tempo most of the game. We just couldn't sustain, or we got a penalty, or you know, we got a negative play in this situation. How much do you need to look at the offense, coach? That was almost six quarters straight without a touchdown until that last. Yeah, it was. It wasn't there. I mean, there's plays. We that things are there. We just got to execute and get a better job. And we're going to look at it cons consistently all the time. We're always doing it. And like I say, for six quarters before that, we're up and down the field. So I mean, we just got to get consistent and handle what we're doing. And we got. And I got to find a way. Keep calling it better and put them in position to keep making the plays they can make. Jimbo, would a uh, this performance would that lead you to would this be the thing that would lead you to uh, uh, change the offense and bringing somebody else to help? You well, that? I mean, there's this the offense we run is still the same. There's similar all schemes across the board. We just got to call it better, coach it better, and do it better. And, there, and if we bring somebody in, if that whatever what happens, it didn't matter. It's still verticals are verticals, smashes are smashes, and like, we got to get it coached better and do a better job of it. So we'll evaluate everything. How much is the line of scrimmage tape? Big. That was really big. I mean, their their line, they, they the line of scrimmage, they did a really good job. And when that happens, it doesn't matter what you got. It's hard. It's hard when you you're not winning the line of scrimmage. We couldn't get the run. Couldn't establish enough run and protection and staff. But we had to find a way to chip, help, slide. We gap protected. We slid protected. We man protected. We chipped out and did different things. But as a coach, that's what you got to keep searching for ways and finding ways to help them. When Connor came over to the sideline, uh, did he ever? Did you ever? Feel like you had to calm him down, or, no. did, or did he seem frustrated or upset about the lack of protection? No, he he knew it, and he kind of saw things, and that's just the game he plays. He he did a, he does a real good job of staying very poised in what he does and how he does things and communicating coming off the field. He was we had great conversations coming off, and he understood. And they had to say a couple of times, he said, "Man, I should have made that one, or I didn't have that one." I mean, he was he was very poised in what he did. Coming up, this team doesn't have an opportunity to play in a bowl game. Oh, it's very opportunity. I mean, it's the first time ever. First time ever in my life too. I mean, it's disappointing, but hey, we gotta go back to work and fix it and get better.
not, not the fumble where they ruled that the guy was out of bounds, but the fumble after that that they reversed. Do you consider taking a time out there to let them look at it again? They, they said they reviewed it. You ask them on the sideline, they say they reviewed it. I mean, everything. I, well, well, it was looked at up top, so. I've never taken a timeout and gotten it ruled on and gotten it back. Because the, they, they say every time, they're supposed to, every one of them, they rule on and they review. So just like on the one out of bounds, and it's like I, I was trying to on the spot. I thought the spot on the third down on the far side of the field when the one they measured and got, I thought we thought up top we, we were out of bounds. But they said they reviewed it, and the guy on the field said they reviewed it and looked at it. So. Without uh, Devon, Without the moves, it's like you're kind of fighting with the anti behind the Well, no, but no, those other guys are good players. And then we got to coach them better and do better. And that's my fault. I got to do a better job of getting that done for them because those guys are good players, too. I mean, those are injuries that occur and are different situations that occur that, that have it. And that, you got other good players, too. Is Max okay, coach? You have an update on him? Yeah, he, he's, he, I mean, he shook up. I mean, he's, he, he's pretty sad because Max's been through a lot, man, his career. He's, there's nobody who loves A&M more and who does, puts his heart and soul on practice and everything he does, nothing more than, than, than Max Wright does. And I don't mean that he's racing anybody else or a lot of guys, but he does as much as anybody and he's praying that he's okay and he's, you know, he's back in here and he's shook up, but I think he, we think he's going to be good. Do you expect Devon back? Uh, uh, yeah, could be, yeah. Anything else? All right, we'll get players. Thank you.